face a lot of big challenges in the world today, like taking care of the planet for future generations, and yet at the same time, producing enough food and energy for a rapidly growing global population. The question is, can we do both? You bet. But it's not going to be easy. And it's going to take lots of different people doing lots of different things. What kinds of things? Well, let's look at what dairy farmers are doing. Take water, for example. Dairy farms need water to clean barns, cool milk, water fields, and most of all, for cows to drink. Most of that water is drawn up out of the ground by wells, and farmers use it wisely. At this farm, water from the milking parlor is recycled to flush barn alleys. Then it goes to a sand pit that separates liquids from solids, then onto a lagoon where more solids fall to the bottom, and the good water left at the top is then used to water the fields. Another example is manure. Cows drink 40 gallons of water, about a bathtub full, and eat 90 pounds of food a day. Whoa. In turn, they make a lot of milk and about 30 pounds of manure, which, if left alone, can release a greenhouse gas called methane that could trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. But farmers use that manure in smart ways. To reduce the groundwater they need to grow their grass and corn, they spread the manure on their fields to keep the moisture in the soil from evaporating into the air. And at the same time, the manure feeds the soil so it stays fertile to produce nutritious crops. And nowadays, more and more farmers are transforming manure into an energy resource by turning it into electricity. They use machines called anaerobic digesters to capture methane from the manure and use it to generate electricity. Some of that electricity powers their farms, but a lot of it gets sold back to the community, which reduces the need to burn other fuels to make electricity for the rest of us. And by using the methane to produce energy, they keep it from being released into the atmosphere. Dairy farmers are also turning to wind and sunlight to power their farms. The wide open spaces of a dairy farm often make an ideal setting for giant wind turbines that convert the kinetic, or motion, energy of wind either into electricity using a generator or into mechanical power to do such things as grind grain or pump water. Things farmers have done for centuries, but now on an entirely new scale. And of course, sunlight is the greatest, most underutilized energy source of all. Did you know that all the energy stored in the Earth's reserves of coal, oil, and natural gas is only equal to 20 days of the sunlight that bathes our planet? Dairy farmers are using solar heat collectors to warm buildings and dry crops, solar hot water heaters to provide for their dairy's operations, and solar panels to convert sunlight into electricity for use on the farm or to sell back to the community. Here's the bottom line. All dairy farmers follow strict government regulations that protect the air, land, and water on their farms. But farmers are very resourceful and practical people, real problem solvers who are also really serious about caring for the land they farm. And so they take pride in exceeding those requirements. Today, when we're all learning more about how to care for the environment, we can learn a lot from the operation of a dairy farm.